Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick one, but recently AMD announced some brand new 8000 series APUs. Now we're talking about the mobile variants right now. And basically what this comes down to is a refresh of Ryzen 7000. In this video, I kind of wanted to talk about what we can expect out of these new 8000 series APUs and mini PCs, and more specifically handheld gaming devices, because that's where a lot of these mobile APUs are going right now. Basically, should you wait for Ryzen 8000, at least the refresh they just announced, or go with something right now like a Ryzen Z1 Extreme or even a 7840U powered handheld. In AMD's recent press conference, they released a slew of new APU SKUs. Uh, we can go down the list a little bit, but there's a few that I've got my eye on when it comes to mini PCs and handhelds. But really, the main focus with this new refresh is AI performance with their new AMD XDNA 2 technology. These new APUs are codenamed Hawk Point. With the Ryzen 7000, like the 7840Us, those were Phoenix Point. And of course, when it comes to gaming on a handheld or a mini PC, a lot of us aren't really worried about the AI performance these APUs can put out. But it's definitely been upgraded here. And another thing they did mention was overall gaming performance improvements with this new 8000 series Hawkpoint APU. Now, I really do think that they were talking about on the CPU side of things, because when it comes down to it, we've actually still got RDNA 3 graphics. In fact, the highest end iGPU that they're offering with Hawk Point is still the 780M, so we get 12 CUs, and a maximum clock up to 2700 or 2800 megahertz, depending on, you know, a U variant or an HS variant. But going down the list, we've got the Ryzen 9 8945HS, 8 cores, 16 threads, got a max boost clock up to 5.2 gigahertz. This will run at 35 to 54 watts, given that it is an HS. And we've got Radeon 780M graphics. Now moving down, not much has changed at all, but one chip that we'll probably see in handhelds is the 8840U. Again, 8 cores, 16 threads, up to 5.1 gigahertz, with the Radeon 780M, which is based on RDNA 3 graphics. But one of the most interesting chips that they announced, at least in my opinion, is the upcoming Ryzen 5 8640U. Now with this, we only get 6 cores, 12 threads, based on Zen 4, Default TDP at 28 watts, and if we take a look at the iGPU, it's got the 760M with 8 CUs up to 2600 megahertz. Now this could definitely be put in a really nice little handheld gaming device, and they could also keep the cost down by using the 8640U as opposed to a higher end 8 core variant. And you know, we have cut off some clock there and a few compute units, bringing it from 12 down to 8. But yeah, if they could keep the price down on this, this would be something that I'd be really interested in testing out. Now bringing our attention over to the 8840U product page, again 8 cores, 16 threads, moving down a bit, 780M graphics, so we've got the same thing as the 7840U which is being used in a lot of handhelds, graphics clock up to 2700 megahertz. but instead of having up to 10 tops of AI performance, they've got 16 now with this one. So basically the only thing that's really changed here, uh, TDP hasn't changed, core count, not even the clocks or the iGPU is the addition of a more powerful AI engine. So really, in the end, when it comes down to it, this isn't gonna be a significant upgrade when it comes to going inside of a handheld gaming device or even a mini PC that really depends on that iGPU for gaming, like most of the mini PCs and handhelds that we use now. So you're in the clear if you already picked up a Ryzen 7000 series powered handheld or even that Ryzen Z1 Extreme powered handheld. A Couple of uh, the great ones are actually using that chip right now. We don't really have to worry until next generation. After all, this is really a 7000 series refresh, but I'm sure we will see some manufacturers kind of touting that they're using 8000 series APUs. And one of the great things about this is there's a chance that the 7000 series might drop in price a little bit, at least from some of the manufacturers out there, if they put out something with that 8000. Once their press conference or keynote started, I was really hoping to see something with RDNA 4 graphics, but we're still working with RDNA 3. So if you've already spent the money, don't worry yet until next generation. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. What do you think about these new 8000 series chips? Are you still going to wait for a manufacturer to put one of these in a handheld before you pick it up? Or are you just going to wait the Zen 4 RDNA 3 APU phase out until we get something a bit more powerful so we can run our games at higher frame rates and higher resolutions on these handhelds and mini PCs? Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in learning a little more, I'll leave some links to AMD's website. And like always, thanks for watching.